I tweaked some things with my motor button LED setup. Instead of using the analog input output pins here, I decided to come up here and use pins just because to make sure I can do it. Um, the one thing you do got to pay attention to, there are three pins up here, a ground, a power, and a signal. You're going to plug in two wires, plug one into the ground, and plug one into the signal. Now that there's going to be some adjustments to the code also because of using these pins instead of these pins. We'll get to that in a minute. I also switched up my LEDs to be in segments. First five LEDs are for one of the motors, second five LEDs are for um, the other motor. So here we go. So green green means both motors are running. I don't know if you can see that one's running. I don't know if you can see that one's running. If I press the other button, half went red, half stayed green because only one motor is running. So if you didn't have a second strip of LEDs or just want to uh, just want to use one strip, that is one way to do it. Again, I've got NeoPixels plugged in pin 16. Make sure you're plugging power to power, ground to ground, signal to signal. Motors plugged into uh, motor A1, motor B1. And then now let's peek at the code. Let me just turn you off here to see some of the adjustments to the code. Again, we are turning off any uh, the LED array so we don't have any conflicts. Because I'm using pins 6 and 7, and that might be conflicts with the LED. Um, setting a strip up on pin 16. Starting to strip to do yellow at the beginning to initialize things. And then I broke the strip up into two different segments. I called one segment motor A and the other segment motor B. Uh, those are just variables, and I come to variables and you know make a variable, called it motor A, called it motor B. And then for this uh, set range, that's a NeoPixel thing. So come down to NeoPixels and set range. And that's where I changed that to motor A. It's a drop down thing. Again, get out of the way. Drop down menu, pick it. Um, from pixel zero to go up five, and then uh, starting at pixel five, go another five. Okay. So now the uh, if statements. Before we could just do if uh, pin zero was pressed. That was actually a, an input. If pin zero was pressed, do something. Now we have to use this, these logic things of this comparison right here, uh, comparing two events, two states basically. Uh, let's put it out there. And we drop that into here. And the states I used were um, if digital read pin six, which is again, come down to pins, digital read pin. If digital read pin, and I chose six, um, is zero. Again, we're plugging it into ground, not into voltage. I tried plugging it into voltage and changing that to a one because voltage would be high, and that just has everything messed up. Um, so going to zero just seems odd. When I press the button, it's sending it to zero, um, but that's what works. So I took that. And dropped it into the if statement and I did the same thing for digital read pin 7 uh, run the motors show the colors again there's just a drop down I could have done strip could have done motor A motor B uh, so that's the little adjustments I did to that 